Yo, 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 what is going on everybody? It's your boy, the Georgia Picker, and it is 6.20 in the morning. And uh, yeah, that means we're going to be going garage selling this morning and hopefully finding some treasures to flip over on eBay. And joining me is the lovely wifey. Hi. What you doing? Morning. How's your morning? Pretty great. Pretty great, right? How many, how many hours of sleep did we get last night? Four. Like four, yeah. Because you know why? We've been grinding. Ain't that right? We're still young. Or it's because, you know, we stayed up and watched TikTok for quite a while. Shh, they don't have to know, okay? Yeah, we, I, I don't sleep well at night, and I kept her up last night, so, uh, so yeah. So anyways, if you guys do not know who I am, my name is Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker. And we go to garage sales, occasional thrift stores, we do abandoned storage units, bin store videos. Uh, we do all types of stuff, man. Uh, and pretty much we find items uh, and we, you know that are profitable and we flip them online uh, for a profit and uh, yeah if you guys do enjoy these type of videos uh, feel free to subscribe like comment and uh, if not just enjoy your stay here I am not picky by no means <laughs> as long as you're here that is the uh, that's the most important part uh, to me um so yeah so let's get in these garage sales hey morning 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 we're not too early are we no we're okay just still one load in the trucks okay <laughs> all right thank you Okay, I got you. <laughs> How much are your games? Dollar. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Price to sell. Huh? <laughs> I mean, unless you want it. No? Okay. How about being wifey? Mm -hmm. What is a perpetual? Oh, that's pretty. That actually matches your kitchen. Hey guys. You want it? <laughs> Didn't do five work. If you can get the price. Huh? If you can. I have a question. Yeah. You have 10 on this, would you do five? I'll do seven. Okay, seven. You want it? Okay. I'm gonna add that to the pot. It matches her kitchen, so she wants it. So we're at seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fourteen. Eighteen. I owe you eighteen if you want to double check. Yeah. You got seven on this on top, seven and then dollar a dollar all the way yep. through. And do you have change for twenty? Yep. Cool. Seventeen. Thank you guys. No, oh, thank you. Thanks we for appreciate being it. patient while we're oh, still yeah. trying to unload okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. It was 18. <laughs> oh, thank y'all. Wait for me. Yeah, I like that calendar thing. Uh-huh. In garage selling the best. Yes. Morning, morning. More. How you doing? <clears throat> Megatron. Megatron. Mm hmm. Kind of dope. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like math block that 
Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I ain't got no kids. <laughs> we bought those things. So I used to do, when I lived back home, go to storage auctions and do all sorts of stuff. Yeah. I had a store and vision some of the shit that was done. <laughs> yeah. Huh. That's pretty cool, though. You say you used to do uh, storage auctions? Yeah. I do that now. Yeah. yeah. I do YouTube and all that. That's why I got my GoPro and I, uh, I show people how to buy and resell and all that stuff. Yeah, so like all this stuff right here. That's yeah. My, that pallet stuff? Yeah, my yeah. kid, he's just, like, he just graduated high school. And uh -huh. A couple months ago, I, like, he works and has his own thing. But I'm like, dude, like, give me 150 bucks and let's go. We'll start and we bought a couple pallets and sold them. And yeah. We probably in the last couple months made a couple thousand just selling stuff around. But I want to teach him. Dude, you can always make money, man. Always make money. Always. Always figure it out, son. They're called digi blocks. Yeah, so they're... Oh. Uh, Let me see if they have any. Okay. They're just the counting thing. I, if I remember correctly when I looked it up, they were... Like, each one of these sets, they're built for, like, school. You said five bucks for them all? I'll mess with it. I'll see if I can. Uh, you change for ten? Uh, yes, I got a I'm taking my small bills this morning. Yeah, I'll mess with them. I might. Oh, thank you. But there's always ways to make money, though. Let me open up my well, tailgate. At the end of the day, I tell my kid, if nothing else, you know what you need to do is you go out and you work harder and do shit other people ain't willing to do. Okay? Yep. Storage is the and, whole it, way to get it. You ain't yep. gonna make no money sitting your ass doing nothing. And storage is a good way to get into that type of stuff. Tour pallets. Morning, morning. Pretty much pick for you, but. <laughs> I got you. You never know. Is that one of those pros? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. It's a GoPro. Yes, ma'am. I go to garage sales and I buy stuff and show people what I get. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's pretty fun. A lot of people watch it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. How much uh, are your hats? A dollar. Dollar? That is actually a dog bed that my husband made for our taco food. Oh, oh that's that cool. <laughs> I went and bought the, the, the foam thing online, and she won't even use the dang gum thing. <laughs> I'm so mad at her. I cannot see straight. I yeah. tried to make, like, so I, I tried to train clothes her. on it. My husband said, you better get it out there and make yard sale. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. I have tried so hard to get our dogs to use a doggy bed. They refuse yeah, they to, won't. and they'll sleep up, like, they'll sleep up on our bed, they'll on our bed. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Oh. I'm selling the dress. I'm selling the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that goes along with, right? But, yeah, it wasn't meant to be, God bless them. But, honestly, yeah. goes a long way. Yes. Yeah. yeah. These are cool. You're my friend. Y'all are my friend. I'm Susan. I'm Susan. And I'm Bingo's mom. Well. Okay. I think I've only been. I know. Cash for 13. Well, I am out there walking, trying to lose the weight. There you go. I had been ill at the time. Oh, are you really buying those okay. things? Well, I was, Mine as a child. Well, well, I was going to ask, there's 15 of them here. Would you do 20 for 15? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm not saying they're in mint condition. Yeah, no, of course not. But, but I'm talking. They're old. Some That's are pretty cool. good. Yeah. That's the Disneyland. Yeah. And, and listen, but see, I mean, even the cover art is a little messed up, but I mean, the records look pretty. Some of them do. Let's yeah. see, what year is this? 1963. Yeah, it's old. That's really yeah. old. They were my childhood records. <laughs> well, a lot of people, what they're doing now is they're they're taking the uh, the old uh, covers and they're actually putting them on their wall and stuff for like decoration and I stuff. I wish I had done that. Yeah. That is great. It's idea. cool. I wish I had done that with my Led Zeppelin, yeah. with my Beatles. Uh huh. Well, I think Austin, I, I think I do Van not, Halen, yeah. all the Led Zeppelin albums, yeah. and all the Beatles. I wish I had done that. I think I think it's a millennial thing. I think the millennial is the one who kind of came up with it, which is kind of interesting. Well, that's but, where I got the idea. My son's a millennial. Oh well, there you go. And, and, and I wish I. He said you should have, and I was yeah. like. Damn it. <laughs> and every time I go up the steps, I'm like. 
Shoot. No. Yeah. <laughs> Take any of the others. Oh, no. I, they are cool, though. No, I, I'll stick with these. All right, great. Oh. Thank you so much. All right. Much. Yes, ma'am. While I'm kids, I got a nice school no. <laughs> yearbook. Yeah, no kids. No okay. kids yet. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, I got more free time now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're one of those people who like to jaywalk, huh? I like jaywalking. Morning, morning, morning. I'm gonna hop right over here real quick. <laughs> You ain't got no size 14 shoes, do you? No. no. Sorry about that. No, you're fine. God blessed me with many things, but height ain't one, but he gave me a big foot. I don't know why. How much are your hats? Uh, three bucks. Three bucks. Right here. Is that Texas Rangers? Uh, Texas Tech. Texas Tech, gotcha. I was wondering what the second tee was for. I was like, okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Is you two for five? Uh, yeah, I'll be two okay. for five. Appreciate that. No worries. Get these two. Good? Gotta always check with the wife. <laughs> you always have to. Five dollars. Thank you. All right, I appreciate it. Have a good morning. Same to y'all. Oh, I'm Have sorry. Oh, oh no, I gotta fix it. Oh, <laughs> care if I cut across here? No. Okay, all right. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. There you go, Charlie. Hey, Bob. You want it? I know you like Harry Potter stuff. Ooh. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Hey, you got a good girl with you. She's just walking around with a phone in her hand instead of walking around picking up everything else. Oh, that's at this sale. That's cool. Oh, she done spent all your money. That's what it is. Oh, <laughs> a whole two dollars? Damn, I bet that about broke him, didn't it? <laughs> you too, bro. How much is this? Seventy-five. Seventy-five. If you find if you look on eBay, they run about 150 to 200. I just did the exact same one, sold for 40. Yes, sir. <laughs> and how much shipping? 20. Damn. Yeah. Have, somebody must have listed it since I looked it up. Yeah. That one there. Well, that one's brand new. 33 plus. 33 plus shipping. Mm. Yeah, 40 plus shipping. That's the one I was looking well, make at. Make me an offer on it then. How about that? Since it's sitting right. Well, here. I I buy and resell though. That's the thing. I don't want to lowball you. <laughs> Honestly, I would I would I would sell it for forty plus shipping. Let me see. I could do fifty on it, but that'd be about the lowest I could go on. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Brand new now, brand new. That'd be a great price. <laughs> I don't know if it's ever even been used. Either. Yeah, it used to come in a box. Yeah. Huh? I scared you? Yeah. Oh, the kitty cat? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. How much are you asking on this? Being that I know what you're going to do with it. Uh huh. Eight dollars. Eight bucks? Yeah. Is there anything wrong with it? As far as I know, it's all there. Two, three, zero, six. Highway 80, Garden City. That's pretty good. 
Ну что, я? Yeah. Is he first one? I thought it was a chihuahua. Well, it's gonna be probably like that tall. Oh yeah. Oh yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh no, how much you want for that? Oh no, that one's gonna cost you. <laughs> so if you trade your broom in for that one, that, that one's gonna cost you. How much you want? How about a whole dollar? All right, I'll do that for her. She's worth, she's at least worth that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I know you've seen the 30 by dollar price tag on the back of it. Oh, actually I didn't wear it. Oh, no, I didn't even see that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Appreciate sir, it. Have a good one. Yes, sir. All right, guys, check it out. So it's your boy, George Pickers. So check this out. So I do want to uh, change it up just a little bit. As you guys know, at the very end of my garage sale videos, I kind of do like a whole, you know, scene where I actually show you guys what the sole comps are um and play some music that type of stuff and not really me interacting with you guys on why i picked something up etc etc so we're switching that up today um so we spent 190 like 92 dollars 191 dollars uh somewhere around there so 200 dollars shy um i'm gonna explain everything why i got them and and yeah you know let's see what happens so <laughs> so uh, i guess we'll start off with some simple items uh first so first garage sale, I ended up getting this puzzle, these three games, this coffee maker, and then that little perpetual calendar for my wife. Um, I didn't count that in this expense because you know it's my wife. Um, but yeah, so I'm not really I'm not really sure what some of these go for. Um, this is a sealed puzzle. Sealed puzzles usually do you know well over time. Technically got a dollar into it, so I mean maybe. I don't know, maybe 15 bucks. Just a casual dog one, maybe $10 plus shipping. I don't know. Um, got a couple of, uh, you know, rock band slash guitar hero stuff. Um, usually I try to lock these up with guitars. Um, and I do have a bunch of guitars upstairs, so maybe this will get me motivated to uh, list them. Uh, so I got all these for a dollar a piece, and we got three of them. This one is a, I don't really know how to say the name, but it's a Javalia coffee maker basically but it's a p80 uh black so it's an eight cup automatic thermal carafe coffee maker i don't know um got it for seven bucks i'll put a sole comp um i usually pick this up because that brand name there i usually sell that for some you know some okay money but seven bucks i thought it was worth the risk um so it could be a good buy it could be a bad buy not sure and uh one yard sale i don't know some logitech um keyboards can go for money i didn't look this up she had three bucks on it did not have the receiver so i bought it for her for from or for a dollar <laughs> so i don't know it might be worth 10 bucks plus shipping might be 15 bucks plus shipping i'm not sure this is definitely a newer one uh let's see one yard sale we picked up all these disney uh records set up from the 60s uh again i don't know much about records but since they were all disney i thought this might be worth you know going through if there's nothing that's really worth anything crazy uh the legend of sleepy hollow that's really cool if none of these are worth you know crazy amounts of money we might actually just lock these up maybe ask like oh well there goes that one uh yeah, they're not in the best of shape uh but maybe ask i don't know maybe three bucks a piece or something uh yeah, twenty thousand leaves on the sea hansel and gretel or hansel and gretel three little pigs i don't know i thought they were just really cool to to, uh too cool to leave behind so yeah we got peter pan well there's a snow white and the seven dwarves so uh we got all 15 of these for 20 dollars uh we got some hats so callaway one basic bread and butter uh, i gotta clean it up just a little bit but got it for a dollar then we got these two new york yankees hats honestly not a fan of the yankees nothing against anybody you know that's your team that's your team but uh yeah two uh new era hats they're not uh this one's not brand new i mean they're technically not brand new but this one has a 35 dollar uh price tag on it and i did not see that so uh yeah i don't know what these would go for though all right guys so let's look into this right here so this is a slatkin and co uh it looked interesting the box just intrigued me that is the reason why i picked it up uh the reason why i picked up the hats is because hats do will sell you know over time uh especially yankee stuff callaway stuff like golfing stuff 
uh yankee stuff in general just sells um that's the reason why i picked that stuff up puzzle was because it's brand new disney stuff because it was just too cool to leave behind and this right here just kind of intrigued me it is a slacken and co haunted house candle luminary we opened it up it was uh look brand new but i can't sell it as brand new obviously um but i'll put up a soul comp i did look this one up i'm not sure what it was going for um pre-owned but brand new these things are going for like 100 bucks plus um, and I got it for eight bucks. All right, so over here went to that one yard sale. These are called Digi Blocks. Um, I got them separated into these uh, array platforms. That's what those are. They're not really worth a whole lot. The Digi Blocks are worth a lot of money. These are all brand new, and brand new ones for a thousand of them are going for like two hundred dollars um, over on Worth Point. And these things are actually very rare. <laughs> you can't find them on eBay right now. So I will be the only seller um which would be great so basically i'm separated and then there was these here these are called place value mat with three digit cards um these are going for 16.99 free shipping over on ebay um i think one sold but this is what i'm gonna end up doing so hear me out what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take uh there's actually a bunch of these bags too um if there is i believe there's 17 sets of what i'm trying to do so let me explain so what I'm going to do is grab one of these bags and I'm going to fill it up with one of each item. So basically, I think these are like learning blocks. Um, the reason why I picked them up is because I looked them up on Worth Point and they seem like they had some value, but there's none on eBay. So maybe they're rare. I'm not sure what the, what the, essentially what they're going to sell for. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these bags, put one of these in there, put one of these in there, and then one of the kit blocks. And then I'm going to... I'm going to sell them for $50 a piece and at 17 sets I believe that comes out to $850 um, for a $5 investment. Um, <laughs> I think that would be kind of nutty if we can make that happen um, and then just see what happens and then put best offers on them and then all in all we'll make anywhere between $600 to $850 on this deal. So $850 being the max and then $600 being uh, the least amount and the fact that uh, this was a fine was actually kind of crazy so this is actually a bolo for you guys um assuming that they're gonna sell i'm pretty sure they will but they're called digi blocks um these are like the little kits so i guess kids add with them i'm not 100 sure but uh yeah five dollar investment to potentially make 850 but it definitely is low as 600 uh i think that's kind of nutty all right so the elephant in the room is going to be these uh yamaha ns-9595 speakers um i actually got these so in the morning time the very first sale i went to didn't record it because it was too dark it was seven o'clock in the morning my buddy keith was having a garage sale and they ended up picking up this tote of stuff which i'm gonna show you guys and then i ended up picking up these two speakers um reasoning why there's none on ebay um yeah they're gonna be a pain to ship but it is what it is for what this potentially could be so i'll throw the soul comp here of what it sold over on worth point which uh, you know essentially is ebay right um and they sold for 800 dollars for the pair now there are some flaws with this one but i think i'll be able to clean them up and maybe sell them i think they would sell for at least 500 as is but we'll definitely see so obviously we got to clean this up a little bit it is missing a, a bolt here unfortunately um, but we might be able to just fit a regular bolt in there but we'll put that in the uh in the description uh my boy keith he does ebay full-time as well um and he just didn't want to deal with these um these are pushed in which is okay it's not that big of a deal to be honest um but uh these right here uh work uh according to my uh to my friend and uh yeah like we got little things to fix which isn't a crazy big deal but like i said i think 500 bucks for everything it looks like it's all um original the only thing that they did was so here's model number yamaha uh the only thing that's different about these compared to the ones that sold the ones that sold um didn't have wheels so these are altered a little bit so they drilled holes into the speaker boxes and it looks like he might have did something on the top too um not my friend but the person he bought them from um he just didn't want to deal with it uh probably taking up some room or something but uh yeah so these are the speakers i bought for uh forty dollars and um, I showed him I showed him the sole comp over on Worth Point, and he was like, "Wow, I didn't realize they went for that much or whatever." And I think he said he, the last one he saw sold was for like four hundred, but I can't find that on my own. But uh, I think we can get five hundred bucks for for the set of these. And shipping, I would obviously split them up, so I would do two different shipments. Um, and even if it's a hundred bucks of shipping, that'd be a hundred forty minus fees and everything. Let's just say we will make around uh, three hundred dollars on this deal after all said and done. 
um but i think that was a pretty good pickup might sit for a little bit but it will christmas coming around the corner so maybe if we can clean them up quickly they would uh they'll sell before christmas that would be nice all right guys so the other elephant in the room is going to be these die cast cars so um i'm not gonna put soul comps on these um but we have a whole tote of more die cast cars do i need them no are they crazy desirable and uh you know you know worth something i mean not really um so here's my my mind behind this so i bought this tub of hot was for 100 bucks i think there's well over 200 cars even again if i got 50 cents a car i'd be happy but what i'm gonna do is go through them lot them up and do a bunch of auctions even if i got i don't know a dollar a car i'm still gonna double my money if not more because there might be more than 200 in here um, but I felt like between this deal and this deal, this deal right here will pay for this itself. Do some auctions, get some traffic to the eBay store because that's one thing that auctions are really good for is uh, bringing traffic to your store. So I'm going to get busy with these, put them up for auction, and that way we have a bunch of these going out all at once. Um, again, uh, crazy fines. Crazy fines. We spent, like, like I said, less than $200 um, between the speakers and the digi blocks we're looking at at least thirteen hundred dollars well i guess if we're going to be on the more conservative side which i like to be on i would say at least six hundred and five hundred so we're looking at at least eleven hundred dollars uh just in those items alone and we spent less than two hundred two hundred dollars which is crazy um and including the uh the haunted house and you know a few hats here and there i mean we're probably looking at i don't know maybe conservatively twelve hundred dollars worth of stuff if not more um but yeah so not like a crazy weekend but overall definitely some quality items the digi blocks really surprised me um whenever i looked whenever i was looking them up at the dude's garage sale i i i guess i wasn't reading it right or something i don't know i was looking at a thousand of them and i'm just like okay there might not be a thousand of these blocks but he said five bucks for everything so i was like you know what i'll do the research a little bit later um and i was like eh, i'll do five bucks for all of them so uh that ended up being a steal uh unfortunately <laughs> um <laughs> uh i hate uh getting over on people like that not obviously it wasn't on purpose but uh but for five bucks for all three i was willing to uh mess with them in the worst case scenario they're gonna go in a garage sale um but uh yeah so tell me how i did down below um and yeah <laughs> that's gonna be our haul for the weekend this is it this is the haul for the weekend you guys all of that right there um so like i said speakers digi blocks hot wheels what more could you want uh no no i mean three video games that didn't really go for like you know crazy amounts of money but i'll lot them up with guitars get a little bit of money out of them uh more money out of them uh but yeah i think this is a great weekend overall and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed uh this video if you guys do make sure you guys uh subscribe like comment and we'll see you guys next video it's your boy the georgia pick of the young jedi peace I don't wanna wake up.